a high school girl just jumped 4.5 meters. For all you Americans who don't know the metric system, that's 14.9. Oh! I'm gonna take you on a ride. Welcome to Pole Vault Vlog. My name is Sean Francis, and we pole vault everything talking. Or something like that. Who likes quick commercials? I do. Should I play the song? Yes. Play the song, but play it quickly. Deal. Commercial time. Yeah. Be on my team for free. Team Hoot, just go to team-hoot.com. Join Patreon if you wish. Just head over to patreon.com slash team hoot and join. That's the end of commercials. Okay, here's the deal. It's 1030 at night. I will tell you tomorrow if I'm coming, com coming, coming, I'm coming out of retirement. You may or may not like what I have to say, but I already told Patreon a gist of what I'm gonna say. So if you want a sneak peek, head over there. Just a heads up, I've been updating my website like crazy and there are two playlists that you are going to want to check out. And they have answered 90% of the emails I have gotten. You're welcome. I call it the How to Pole Vault playlist, which is kind of, there's lots of ways to pole vault. And the other one's How to Pole Vault Mentally, which is like all the stuff that's going on in your head because pole vault is 80% mental and the rest is in your head. All right, so for the rest of the video, let's talk about the high school record and we'll review some videos. Let's. Go. So here's the deal. Chloe Cunliffe, or Cunlife, Conlife, something like that. You guys know I can't read name. A witch put a curse on me a long time ago. Corey Conlife. She jumped 14 feet or 430 in January. But she hurt her wrist and that ended the indoor season. Or so we thought. She didn't jump all of February. Instead, she lived in the weight room and she worked on her speed. This is what speed looks like. Mm. In case you're wondering. Fast forward to March 17, 2019, St. Patty's Day. Leprechauns kill witches, you guys. So Chloe's coach was out of town, he was at a meet, he was actually on an airplane, and Chloe was like, I still want to pole vault, I'm starting to feel pretty good, I'm gonna sign up for a last chance meet, and I'm gonna see what I can do. So without a coach, and without much of an indoor season, she just goes, I'm just gonna break the national high school record. And so she did. What? For me, the coolest part of the story is she broke the American junior record too, but since USATF rules say so you need a certain amount of officials there to make sure the record's legit, and there wasn't enough officials, so it didn't count. So now her goal is to be the first high school girl to jump 15 feet or roughly 560, 460, 460. Perspective time. Olympian and multi-NCAA champion, Lexi Weeks, jumped 14.7 in high school. Quit making noise. Guys, this is Scooter. More perspective time. I jumped 15 feet in high school. Whoa dang. Just quit making noise in the background, man. So my question comes to you. What do you guys think Chloe's gonna jump? Is she gonna jump 15 feet this year? Is she gonna jump higher than 15 feet? What's gonna happen? I wanna know your predictions down here and then we'll follow her progress and then we'll see what happens based on the comments. You need to call it right now though. Don't be stingy. All right. Congratulations. That was very impressive and very fun to watch. I think 15 plus. That's just me. I'm just saying it. I'm calling it out because that jump was insanely sick and it was indoors. Oh, I'm excited, can't wait. It's been a while, let's review some videos. All right, the first video is of Owen, and his coach was saying he has a pretty good plan, they're just trying to figure out like what's next, like what's going on, and how to get him with, to help with this invert just a little bit. And so, really, he's just crushing that little pole, and he needs some more grip and pull. And if you guys don't know what grip or pole to go to next, I'll put a video right here where I talk about how to figure that out. And then that blasted invert that everyone's always struggling with. So there's a lot of ways and videos I have to invert, but I personally think that if he gets on a little bit longer pole, it's gonna give him a little bit more time to get upside down and good things will happen. And then he asks what to do with the bottom arm and I have a whole bunch of videos in that coaching playlist to help show where that bottom arm's supposed to go and how it's supposed to move into the right spot and good things will happen there. So coach's playlist will help you out a whole bunch, but yeah. I think uh, getting the right pole situated, that's always number uno. Good jump, man, I love it. I love seeing kids landing in the back of the coach's box. Your plant is gorgeous. And I'm gonna watch it one more time. So good. Good job, Owen. All right, this next video is Tori, and Tori's jump is awesome. I wish everyone ran as aggressive as her. Uh, the coach was saying they have about four weeks left of the season. They can't seem to get her run or her step out a little bit. And so instead of worrying about that, because if you focus on that too much, it, we kind of decided it would, there's just not enough time. We think the biggest bang for her buck is working on the top arm stuff and getting that right hand in the right position and helping with that turn. So is what I suggested is doing some of those Caroline White drills. We're here, if we're watching this video. So much power, gosh. And then legs are going one way, arms are going the other way. So we have this like little fire 
cracker thing going. And we want to be a bottle rocket. We want to be in line with that pole. So if we can get that right hand on the right quad, which he's been saying he's been trying to tell her, another way to think about it is try and put your right quad on your right hand. And if you can do that, the turn will start happening sooner, and then you'll be belly to the bar, and you'll be closer to the pole, and you'll go straight up, and good things will happen. Ooh, run looks way better there. Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, not even close. So there's a huge gap between the knee and the hand. She comes off the pole early, and her back's still to the bar. So if we can start that turn again a little bit sooner, those Caroline White drills will help you get the feeling of doing that. And then once we got that feeling down, LeBron James, baby. I don't even watch basketball. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Great jump. I wish everyone would run like that. Thanks for sending videos, guys. Guys, short and sweet video today. Thank you to all the Patreon members. They are supporting this channel. And I will do a video tomorrow or Friday talking about my plan for the rest of the summer. If you are a four meter member of the Patreon club, you get your name in this vlog forever. Congratulations. Actually, don't congrats, I thank you. Thank you for doing that, because it helps these vlogs keep going, and it's the best. Guys, remember there are more than one ways to pole vault. Try what works best for you, and then do more of that. If someone tries to tell you that there's only one way to pole vault, say, no there ain't. <laughs> Stay tuned for tomorrow. I will do a big update, or Friday, I will do a big update vlog and keep you guys updated on what's going on. Life is meant to be experienced. Curiosity will get you there. Oh,